Crime Alert is from St. Louis's newest, most popular attraction, the City Foundry. Multiple customers this weekend coming out from food and fun to find their car windows busted and vehicles rummaged through by thieves. And on that same property, police arresting a 15 year old with a fully automatic gun who they say was involved in a gunfight. From robberies to burglaries to carjackings and shootings, we are continuing to see kids at the center of the often violent crime. That 15 year old with the automatic weapon, the courts released him to his parents just hours after being caught. Tonight News Force Caroline Hecker asks if kids are acting like adults in Missouri, why aren't they being held accountable for their actions? Violent crime being committed by kids. Police departments across the region say they're seeing a rise in the number of juveniles involved in serious criminal activity. Saturday night, city police apprehended three juveniles after a gunfight near City Foundry. Then on Sunday, police say a 13 or 14 year old is accused of robbing a man at a South Kings Highway quick trip. And earlier this month, O'Fallon police say four juveniles were part of a violent home invasion in the Winghaven subdivision. It is scary. I mean, when I read that article and saw what was happening, I, I, I was frightened. City police say while responding to a report of car break-ins this weekend at the foundry, they heard gunshots in the same parking lot. Those shooting from a car got away, but police nabbed three juveniles who tried to run. One of those, a 15 year old, had a fully automatic handgun. This is a public safety issue and uh, we need to solve these um, one by one, but we need to bring the stakeholders together. But police say mere hours later, juvenile court told them to release the kids to their parents rather than detain them. Right now, uh, we as prosecutors have no input on whether or not a juvenile should be considered for uh, certification to be tried as an adult. I think that's a leg legislative change. Uh, that could be enacted that would give us uh, some ability to to be proactive. Looking at Missouri's juvenile justice guidelines and recommended practices, it states in most circumstances, the appropriate course of action will be to release the juvenile to the parent, guardian, custodian, or suitable adult. However, it says a juvenile can be detained only if he or she is a danger to the community or is unlikely to show up to court. Earlier this month, the ATF and U.S. Attorney's Office issued a warning about Glock switches, making semi-automatic guns fully automatic. It's the same kind of gun police say was found on the 15-year-old at the foundry. A spokesperson for the 22nd Circuit Court says it's looking into the communication between police and juvenile court. City police have yet to present charges against the three juveniles. And Caroline, a couple more things to unpack out of this. What do we know about the juveniles and how they're assessed once they're brought in by police? Well, we did find a form as provided by the state and it lists all different kinds of situations and each situation is assigned a point value. And if you score more than a 15 or 15 or above, then it's recommended that you are detained. So we have a view of this sheet. I want you to look closely at there uh, right in front of you. You can see the test on the right of the screen. We pulled from the sheet an unlawful felony possession or use of a fire firearm is automatically 15 points according to the sheet without anything or without looking at anything else and that is exactly what police allege in this case guys. So hypothetically, if you or I were to commit such a, a similar crime, what would that penalty be? Well, we heard just a couple of weeks ago from the U.S. Attorney's Office, they are recommending mandatory prison time hmm. for adults that are found to be in possession of one of these weapons or to uh, commit a crime with one of these weapons. But at this point, it is unclear who made the decision to allow this juvenile hmm. to go home, but the court's telling me they are looking again into that communication to see exactly what happened. It's something we're seeing more of, and mm -hmm. it's frustrating a lot of people. Mm -hmm. All right, Caroline, thank you. All right, well